Okay, this is just a quick detour. Look at all of this. These are the movies that my father happens to own. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that right there. There. Even. Um, oh, wait, you can't see that much. But. Yeah. And if we travel over here. This is just another movie collection. Right here. More. There's more. Right here. Right here. Uh huh. Right here. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what, what do we have here? Even more films. Holy shit. Yeah. Look at all that shit. Yeah. Woo. All these fucking movies. You're probably wondering on why I'm showing you my movie collection. Because it's relevant. We've seen a shit ton of movies. And my father has seen uh, even more. Some movies, they were made even before I was born. <laughs> that being said, there's this asshole who's going to tell us that the movies we watch contain toxic masculinity. Oh joy! We have a serious sexual assault problem in the United States. Ah, uh, MTV News. Repeating the exact same argument since Lacey Green infected MTV with her feminism. One of the reasons why, toxic masculinity. Now let's be clear, masculinity is not inherently a bad thing. You can trust me, I'm a black man on MTV. Really? Masculinity isn't toxic at all. What's bad is when society tells us that being a man means things like strength and power at the expense of being allowed to really feel things. Of course, this fucking argument. This is one of the most commonly made arguments that is made by feminists. Like, this argument is nothing more than trying to appeal to men. Stating that men in, in society are expected to be nothing more than mere mindless monsters. Like, this is how you see men. Time for the world's most manliest sandwich! Ah! I got bread, cheese, ham. Let's do this shit! I 
Black girls! Big boys don't cry. 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 Think manly stuff. If you don't act manly, how can you be a man? There is no God. I'm sorry that you have to see this event. But this is how feminists see men. Imagine your favorite male protagonist. Is he cold and aloof? Hardened? Brooding? Does he scowl? Make dark jokes in the face of danger? Some of my favorite characters aren't even like that. There's a whole variety of male characters. Some of them are more upbeat. Some of them are incredibly stupid. And some of them are incredibly fucking wise. You want to know one of my favorite characters of all time is? Goku. Yeah, he's not, you know, an American character, but he's looked up upon many anime fans. The very first thing that pops up when it comes to anime is Dragon Ball Z. Because a lot of people have fond memories of that show. It's especially, you know, during the 90s. And you know what Goku's personality is? He's not the typical dark, brooding type. No. He's the type of person that people look up to. He continues to pass, you know, push past his own goddamn limit. People love him for that fucking reason. No. I have no problem if your favorite character is Batman, Superman, uh, Wonder Woman, whatever the fuck. But don't give me this bullshit that, you know, these movies contain the exact same tropes of this dark, brooding stereotype who's just constantly hurting and all this shit, okay? I own a shit ton of movies. And I can tell you from experience that this is just not fucking true. Well, this is our cultural ideal of manhood. It gets worse when anything that society deems feminine, like having feelings, gets pegged as a threat to manhood. Real men don't express emotions. We're robots. Men! The worst thing a manly man can do is act like a woman. Side note, this is also why toxic masculinity is super homophobic. DeAndre Levy of the Detroit Lions wrote recently, quote, it's truly astounding how many awful things that occur in this world because men are afraid of appearing weak. Apparently he'd shown some form of femininity because he's gay. I'm not sure what exactly is your point here. Levy notes that in locker rooms, power is measured in sexual conquest, dehumanizing women in the process. We're so caught up in these toxic ideas that a woman granting her affirmative consent to sex, well, that too often becomes secondary to our needs. So according to you, we're nothing more than mere sex-crazed, mindless monsters. And MTV has this history of showing how racist towards white people and how sexist towards men they are. This is what they're saying, that we're nothing more than mere sex-crazed, mindless monsters who only care about fucking women and passing our genes and keeping this tradition on how women should be nothing more than mere servants and should be staying in the fucking kitchen. Fuck you, MTV. Let's put that in the context of American colleges and universities, where sexual assault has become an epidemic. Reported sex crimes increased 126% from 2001 to 2013. You already know this is total bullshit when they actually have to inflate the numbers. I'm not even going to try to address this because it's fucking stupid. College is a petri dish for bad ideas about sexual behavior, a place that often magnifies toxic conceptions of masculinity. Too many men learn in college to view women as things to be aggressively obtained, to be conquered, to be used for our enjoyment and pleasure. Not being in college, I can definitely tell you that is just not fucking true. When's the last time a college professor is like, you know what? Women should just be in the fucking kitchen all day long. That's what they belong. <laughs> yeah, am I right, fellas? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? That's just part of what we know as rape culture. All the ideas and beliefs that make people think sexual violence is acceptable. Because apparently we are so ex 
accepting it towards rape that we just pat ourselves in the back and be like, yeah, you did good, you did good, you raped that girl real good. Yeah, 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 that's really good, that's really good. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Just fuck you. Rape culture includes the misogynist images we're fed in popular culture. There are these people who use women to sell products. Now, we should use those men over there, you know, those nice sexually clad men to sell this nice perfume. Yeah, that, that's totally okay, you know? But we shouldn't, you know, do that to women, you know? These women are human beings. Ooh, that's a really nice handsome guy right there. Ooh. Where male violence is depicted as sexually alluring and something that enhances the protagonist's manhood. You know who gets off by that? Sociopaths. And you know who's filled with sociopaths? Social justice warriors. How should I know? Because people like Miley Yiannopoulos are being censored by social justice warriors for daring to criticize social justice. They've done everything in their power to try to silence him. They try screaming at him, blowing foghorns at him. You know, uh, one of them poured water on, uh, uh, what's, what's her face? Um, that girl, I forgot her name, but someone poured water or piss or whatever the fuck on a poor girl just to silence her for daring to have a different opinion. Hell, some of these social justice warriors try to interrupt the event by getting on stage and start screaming. You social justice warriors are full of sociopathic bullshit. Toxic masculinity, when you think about it, is very selfish. A lot of that is about entitlement. We're entitled to a voice. You're fucking a white male! Yes! I have a baby here! I don't hurt children! I love Satan! Who's us? Fuck out of you! And get that camera out of my face! You need to get out! Shut the fuck up! How many did I adopt? I kill my kids! Yeah, I still pay to kill babies, though. Really? Oh, yeah. So go do some research, come back with some quotes, okay? You don't have to. I'm triggered. Oh! I fucking love Satan, so fuck you! The rest my case. Entitled to a job, entitled to sex, all these things we're told we deserve because we're guys. You're supposed to be sucking my dick. Yeah, I don't see you sucking it, girl. Come on, suck it now! Some of us don't react well when we're challenged. Women disagreeing with us or telling us no, for example. I've not seen anyone on the social justice warrior side have any, any debate whatsoever. Not Anita Sarkeesian, not Lisa Green, not Francesca Ramsey. None of these people have addressed the criticism given to them. Instead, the best counter argument they can give is that all these people are fucking sexist! <sighs> Excuse my tone, but this is getting tiresome. In those moments, we react how we've learned to. With aggression, with harassment, with violence. In those moments, we react how we've learned to. With aggression, with harassment, with violence. No, they're not. You have to obey the rules. But this is free speech if you're so you're concerned. Not free speech. Free speech. Yes, it is. Please keep your comments. Please keep your comments. Please keep your comments. Please keep your free speech out of this campus. 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 In those moments, we react how we've learned to with aggression, with harassment, with violence. Yeah, well, it, if you have this attitude, then you don't belong here. Okay, you get the fuck away from us. In those moments, we react how we've learned to, with aggression, with harassment, with violence. In those moments, we react how we've learned to, with aggression, with harassment, with violence. Once more, I rest my case. We've got to unlearn that stuff. Basically, toxic masculinity has screwed us guys up. Anger, violence, and entitlement are not admirable qualities. You have to believe me, because I'm a black man. We tried it with Francesca Ramsey, and turns out that, you know, 
people really just don't like to listen to her. So maybe if a black man says this, our points would be valid. And coming to grips with that is the first step in understanding that ending sexual assault is our problem to solve. In other words, we have to do all the work while women just get to sit back and relax. Yeah, fuck you. Two. So how do we solve this? How do we detox? Hold friends accountable and intervene when you see harassment or assault. I see you doing the exact same thing for social justice warriors, considering that they do the exact same thing that you're claiming that we're doing. Don't be the guy who wishes he'd said something to stop his friend. Listen to survivors and believe them when they speak up. No skepticism here, just listen and believe. This is the same mentality of that of a religion. If you don't, it has a chilling effect for others who have experienced sexual assault. They see other survivors being shut down or dismissed and think it would be easier to stay quiet. Read and understand legislation that's addressing the problem, including a bill called the Campus Safety and Accountability Act, which would create incentives for schools to better protect students from sexual assault. I don't really give a damn. Okay, I, I don't care. I bet it's just as full of shit as you are. If you support bills like this, let your senator or representative know. If not, be constructive and suggest ways to improve them. Start by getting rid of all the social justice warriors. Cause that way they can stop spreading these fucking lies. And most of all, learn about and practice affirmative consent, which means all parties in sexual activity communicating an explicit yes. Let's face it, your version of consensual sex is fucking stupid. Can I touch you here? Can I kiss you? Can I touch you here? Can I touch you there? Are you ready for me to touch your butt? Can I penetrate you now? Yeah, I have to ask questions for every move I make. Fuck you. And when one person's mental state is impaired because they're drunk or high, there is no consent. It depends on how drunk or high they are. If they still have the ability to consent, then it's still consensual sex. But if they're like really, really, really passed out, then there is no consensual sex. It's basically fucking rape. So you're wrong there, buddy. <laughs> I'm Jamil Smith, and this is The Racket. Jamil Smith, I do hope that you're not the type of person who's going to block people on Twitter automatically for daring to criticize your goddamn ideology. So if you haven't blocked me already, I'm probably going to end up sending this video to you, so that way you're probably going to end up blocking me anyway. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming on!